Well, welcome to the Top Gun Show, where I try to bring you new providers, new technologies, and introduce you to the best professionals in the industry, all so you can make informed decisions. Today, I'd like to welcome Colin Jones, the Strategic Accountant Director for 1111 Systems, the sponsor of the Top Gun Show. Colin has held various business development and account manager sales roles with Via West, Peak 10, and Flexential, all in the Pacific Northwest. Colin, welcome to the Top Gun Show. Hey, thanks for having me, Steve. Great to be here. Yeah, I'm really excited about uh, featuring you guys this month. You guys do a, an amazing thing. And if people haven't heard of 1111 by now, they need to. I mean, you've got like seven acquisitions in the last 11 months and, and counting. So anyway, in the past couple of weeks, we've talked about how and why 1111 Systems started. And last week, we dug deeper into your products and services. In this interview, I want to discuss the ideal customer profile and the importance of the channel. But before that, let's start with this. In two sentences, or maybe a little more, who is 1111 Systems? Great, great question, Steve. So uh, at our core, we are a global infrastructure solutions provider, hyper focus on combining cloud connectivity and security all under one umbrella to decrease the amount of noise that customers have to deal with on a daily basis. Well, I, I love that. I mean, 1111, I, I kind of want to know where that name comes from. I know on my cell phone, when it says 1111, I take a snapshot and say a wish and, you know, that kind of deal. I don't know why I do that, but I do. What, where did you come up with that name? And that's kind of a similar story. So our founder, Brett Diamond, uh, when him and some of the team that put together 1111 came up with this idea, that was one of the first things that stuck out to him, right, was this 1111 make a wish. But the whole idea of 1111 being that time of the day when everything is in sync. And that's what we're trying to do from an infrastructure perspective is keep, whether it's the cloud, whether it's somebody staying up from a disaster recovery perspective, mm. the connectivity, whether it's the circuit themselves or how somebody's actually uh, accessing the data or the security side, right? Keeping the lights on, making sure nobody bad is getting in. Yeah, I love it. I love it. You know, that's why I've been doing these interviews. I've been wondering, what is your secret sauce or do you have any special technical advantage under the hood for 1111 systems? You know, I mean, especially from from my side of things, I'd say the, the biggest technical advantage we have right now are some of the experts we have from the different companies that have been brought under the hood, right? Um, you look at from a cloud and disaster recovery perspective, we have two of the Gartner leaders in the Magic Quadrant, both for different reasons why they were there. Uh, and then from the security side, being one of the largest you know, Fortinet MSSPs on the West Coast and the expertise we're bringing in there, all the way through to our connectivity side, which has over 40 years of connectivity experience and building companies all under one roof. So it's really taking these different organizations and then running it through kind of the 1111 plan of integrating companies into them. So we do have one single group and interface to work with. I love it. Kind of the all-star team in those three quadrants of services. Um, and you guys you guys buy them and put them under the 1111 culture to keep them consistent. I like that. I like that. Exactly. Okay. From a sales standpoint, what are some of the business outcomes that are driven by 1111 systems? Well, it's funny. I, I think there's a lot of different business outcomes we've seen from a lot of different organizations. I'd say what's top of mind right now, and probably you look at the news over the last week with some casinos, we'll say, we won't name names. I'd say there's the biggest outcome we're seeing is helping people on the disaster recovery side, right? Really helping keep the lights on, both from a ransomware cyber attack perspective, uh, as well as any sort of disasters where that's maybe been secondary to somebody's thought process. So it's, it's taking something like that, where that may be the main problem might be thought of as the infrastructure, and then helping people build pr like project practice around disaster recovery whether it be leveraging our consulting resources or just decreasing the the need of the internal resources to put solutions together. Love it. I, and we won't name any name of casinos because, you know, we have mafia. Who, who knows? Who knows what's going on out there? <laughs> <laughs> well, are there certain customer types or customer profiles where 1111 Systems is finding the highest rate of success? I, I'd say there's uh, the... the Customer profile right now that we're seeing the most success in, even from an industry perspective, folks with high compliance needs. Um, and when you look at that, that could be things like healthcare, 
uh, manufacturing, financial services. Those are the three we see the most growth right now, just from a needs perspective. But I'd say that customer is, is growing day by day. More and more organizations are struggling as a result of things like the recession. They're losing people. They're really looking for more services around their own business. So I'd say highly compliant customers are where we see a lot of drive and need. That secondary one is somebody looking for, uh, looking at their security profile, right? And they've been highly focused on that prevent side. And now they're realizing they're lacking on that recover point of it. Like, so that's the other customer profile we're seeing a lot of current success with. I love it. Well, that's kind of everybody though. I mean, I know you guys, you know, handle a lot of different types of business, but uh, well said, Carl. Well said. Hey, I know you're a big fan of the Top Gun show. And I know you know there are millions and millions of people watching you right now. Why don't you tell the viewers a fun little known fact about yourself? Oh, man, I'd say, this is probably not the most fun for some, um, but I, I'm currently operating, seeing, seeing how well I can operate in the least amount of sleep because I have a, a three-week-old right now. So uh, that's, that's my current fa fun fact is how, how well can I do on a Top Gun show with only two hours of sleep? <laughs> Well, I think you and I are two pieces of the pot. I have an eight month old and uh, last night I was up at nine, 10, midnight, two and 4 a.m. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. You know, and I gotta warn you, man, there's this thing called sleep regression that occurs at six to nine months. So you think you've mastered it about five months into it and it's out the window, dude. So oh, don't, anyway, yeah. you, you're, you're younger and you have more energy than me, good luck. But um, if you're up late at night, give me a call, man. I'll keep you company. Thanks, Steve. Appreciate it. All right. Hey, thanks for carving out time out of your schedule to be on the Top Gun Show. Colin, I really appreciate it. Appreciate you, too. Thanks, Steve. Thanks for watching, everybody.